This is the Elgato Stream Deck, and it's a useful little piece of gear, but what's really useful about it, right now you're seeing the setup to control the ATEM Television Studio HD video switcher, which keep in mind this is about a $100, $150 piece of gear, as opposed to the Blackmagic control surface, which is several thousand dollars. So this is actually a really great deal. But what's even better about that for us is if I go page up, you'll notice some of these previous slide, next slide, uh, that says clear slide. It's kind of hard to see with the glare there. Clear all, uh, clock 9 p.m., start 9 p.m., stop p uh, 9 p.m., reset 9 p.m., PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint SD layout, SD default. What I've done is I have arranged these so that I have access to some of the functions in ProPresenter. So let me start by uh, cutting over to ProPresenter and uh, let's go to so now you can see both ProPresenter and the Stream Deck here so what I'm going to do is just to show you I'm going to pop open messages here and there is the 9 p.m. countdown that I have um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, well, let's go here and let's start it. So you see that it starts. Maybe I need to stop it. I can stop it. You'll notice my mouse isn't anywhere here. I'll put that over here. And I can reset it. Start it again. That's some of the stuff. I can go to the next slide previous slide, um, clear slide. I can also, let's uh, change into the stage display preview. I've got the PowerPoint stage display layout there. I've got the, um, actually this button says what it does. So or what's actually up there. Go to PowerPoint, it changes to PowerPoint over here. I can do the default display and it shows that the default display is showing. So this gives me some quick access to a few of the features in ProPresenter that are a little harder to get to quickly. And that is done through the companion app. So this is the software. It's an open source project, so it's free to download. You go to github.com slash bitfocus slash companion, and then you go to here, and you download the zip and install that. So I've already done that, already got it set up, and I'm over here, and you'll notice that I have added two connections uh, or instances as they're called. So I can add by manufacturer, so I can sc scroll down here. Um, actually, let me search instead because it might be better if I expand this out a bit. So let's, let's see, renewed. So you see when I type in renewed, I have either uh, ProPresenter or PVP3. And what happened with this is um, there are some developers that have been trying to figure out the ProPresenter API, the commands that the remote app sends to ProPresenter to get it to do stuff. And they figured that out and then they have um, put that into Companion. So if we go over here, you'll see that I have my button layout. Very similar to here. It doesn't have the page up, page down, 
or to go into this stream deck that's the default software I just put it there normally it tells the page number but so I have these and I can format them by clicking on it and uh, first choice is button style I can do none I can do text or I can do a PNG image in this case I've chosen text and then I type in previous slide now if I wanted that to be bigger I could go to 44 and you can see that that's way too big you can't see what's there I could go to 7 and you can see that that's actually pretty small it's kind of difficult to read you definitely wouldn't want that any smaller but for you know my own reasons I really like 14 then I can change the alignment and you'll notice that as I do that it changes here on the fly so top center but maybe just center I can change the color of the text I can change the color of the background and that changes right as I do that so I'm gonna go back so here is the actual action that I've chosen so when the key is pressed it does the previous slide and here are some of the other choices that I have so I can do next slide previous slide specific slide etc so it's actually pretty easy you just label it and then you say what you want it to do but that's not the only thing here I also have if I go here this one is a little bit more complex this is a variable and it displays the current stage display name so that's in there and um, so when I press first off says latch what that means is this button is a toggle so when I press it down or action one on the toggle it changes the stage display layout to layout zero that's the first layout in the stage display list so let's go here preferences display configure stage display you'll notice that I have the list dual SD notes only everything but the slides default PowerPoint these are all layouts that I made so it could be anything that you want it to be so dual stage display I made up if I wanted to have a dual head to go hooked up and current slide on one display and next slide on the other notes is current slide notes and next slide notes if I wanted to display something other than the words that are actually on the slide you get it so it's numbered 0 1 2 3 4 and so on so it always starts with 0 so back in here stage display index that's the first stage display stage display one is the second stage display layout a little confusing but there's also feedback so what I can do is I can change colors based on the active stage display uh, so when it's zero stage display zero it has a background color of green so see background color of green when it's stage display one background color of red and I could add another one so I could do stay go here change colors based on active display let's do two and let's make that I don't know blue so now I think that's this button let's 
head back over to ProPresenter because I can't remember what the third one was. So, zero, one, two, everything but slides. And I don't think that I have a button for that. So, um, let's actually do that one. So, zero, one, two, three. So let's do the fourth one, which is number three. Remember, it starts with zero. So number three. And number three. I'll change to blue. So I hit that, and this will turn to blue. See? And it displays the current stage display. So you really have a lot of power here. One thing that I did is because you can also put multiple commands on a single button. If I go back to buttons, here I have my ATEM Television Studio HD, and on this one button, I have, you'll see it kind of messed with things, but what it is is it's putting in the two downstream keys at the same time. And so I could have, you know, a bunch of commands with delays in between them so it could do multiple things all at once so if you need to turn on the stage display and uh, start a clock and put in a key you could do all that with one button so that is some of the really neat stuff you can do with companion but there's something else over here presets. So when you add these instances, it will also add in the presets and you can see some presets that are already created. There's not as much with ProPresenter, but I just wanted to show you just all the different commands that you could do. These are actually like folders. So um, let's see, downstream key one. So I can change the downstream key source just by going over to a button and going into let's say this and then I could just drag and drop and when I go in it it's already got all the commands in there and the feedback and everything so someone has already created the preset for it just to make it simple and you go back and you're good to go. So that's how to program a stream deck to control ProPresenter and more specifically ProPresenter 6. I think there will maybe even be some in, um, even greater functionality coming because there's someone in the ProPresenter users group that has sniffed out all kinds of possibilities with ProPresenter. So that is kind of exciting that this might not even be the limit of all you can do. So that's how to program a stream deck to control ProPresenter and do multiple things with a single button press with ProPresenter 6.